he's going to greet you for a minute. Steve. Hi, how are you? Thumbs up if you can understand me. Thumbs down if you think I should stop talking. <laughs> you look awesome. First, I want to say thank you because it's not easy coming on and trying to learn a new language. When I was young, I had to learn French. Alors, je peux parler français, mais on va parler pas français ici, on va parler anglais, right? So we're going to speak English right now. Now I'm 49. I'm losing my hair. I'm blind. And I'm trying to learn Korean. You know, and it's very, very difficult. So I look at you and I say, good job. I'm very proud of you because it's not easy to learn a new language. So uh, two thumbs up, you are awesome. And I'm very, very proud of you. Uh, don't get frustrated. Am I going too fast? Thumbs up if I'm going too fast. Okay, we're good? Okay, don't get frustrated. I understand it's, it's not easy. But because you keep on coming on and trying and working at this, you are going to get a lot, lot better. And so I might call on you. And if you feel nervous, that's okay. Just stick your tongue out at me and say, no, I'm not talking. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'm a teacher. And sometimes my students love me. And sometimes they just roll their eyes or like that. So if you want to do that, you can do that to me too. Okay. So we're going to talk about um, five different ways to show that people that, that we care and we're we'll trying to define them. Okay. So the first way is words of affirmation. Can somebody tell me what they think that means? Who's this for? This is Esther. Esther, you seem like a smart girl. You got on bright yellow shirt there. So do you know what words of affirmation are? You could say words of encouragement. And do you know what that means? I don't know, sir. You, you don't? But, yeah. do, you know, do you know what encourage means to affirm uh -huh. me? Encourage me to like to support someone to give like I guess. Yeah, no, this is very uh, good. Bravo. Nice job. Uh, it's very good. Thank you. Hey, listen, it's okay to be nervous. It's okay. okay. So words of affirmation. Some people they need to hear good job. Um, they need to hear um, I love you. Uh, they need to hear you're great. They yeah. need to hear, um, I like your glasses today, or I like that shirt that you're wearing, or that color looks good on you, or I like how your hair is, or you are special. So those are words of encouragement. And uh, so that's one way that we can show people that we care for them or love them. Another time word is touch. So Ruth. I'm going to ask you, do you touch? What is touch? Uh, if we care them, uh, we, we can hear them. And I don't know. You don't know. That's okay. So touch. Touch is just touching somebody. Sometimes shaking hands, all right, giving a hug, uh, touch. So some people, that's how they show love, are caring. Now the movies, who are the big movie stars in Burma? Are there any big movie stars in Burma? Who, who's the guy that you have on, you go, when you see him on TV, Ruth, you're like, oh, ooh, he's so handsome. <laughs> you don't have to tell me. <laughs> but so a lot of times when we hear touch, we think like hugging and kissing and uh, that's, that's just part of it. But it's, you know, holding hands, 
just touching somebody when somebody is hurting or somebody is crying. Sometimes we just come up and we just put our hand on their shoulder. Our, so some people, that's how they feel and they need to feel love or being cared about. So do we understand that? So the first way Ruth got it right was encouraging. I, I mean, sorry, Esther got it right was encouraging. And then with Ruth, we did touch. And then Lydia, mm -hmm. gifts. What is, what is to give it? What is gifts? Is that G-I-F-T? Yeah, yeah, gifts, yeah. yeah. It's um, most people give, give gifts in someone's birthday. Okay, yeah, very good. Gifts, uh, so when we show people we care, we give them gifts. Um, if a, if uh, if you want to show somebody you care, sometimes you bring flowers. Um, I don't. What are some of the traditional things that you would bring to somebody's home in Burma? Um, if you were going to see your grandma and you hadn't seen her in a while, what are some of the traditional things that you might bring to her? Would you bring food? Would you bring items or um, I would bring her favorite food. Okay. And what's her favorite food? Um it's uh, she like uh, sweet things. Oh sweet things? Uh, a smart lady. I like sweet things too. That's why my belly gets big, because <laughs> I like sweet things. Yeah. <laughs> that, Esther, that was a very nice job. Very good. All right. So uh, we have, oh, Andrew can't talk. Um, so can Eddie? Eddie, are you there? Are you there, man? Eddie? Eddie? Oh, this is Andrew? Andrew? Uh, are you, are you yeah. there? Okay, so Andrew, this one's hard. Okay, so what's quality time? And do you know what that is? Sorry? Quality time. Quality time. Quality? Spending, I only spending, know. Spending time with somebody, but quality time. How would you, how would you, how would uh, you say that? Uh, I'm, to be honestly, I'm not really uh, familiar with this word. But okay. I do understand quality. <laughs> okay. So that's good. So, Andrew, do you have a brother or sisters? Yes, of course I do, yeah. Okay. It's to, oh, so how many brothers do you have? Well, we're going back in one. there. You have one? One younger brother, yeah. Okay. So, so do you get to spend time like playing games with him, or reading with him, or going and doing stuff with him? Yeah, I like so, doing. Uh, I like, yeah, I like playing football with him. Okay, so that is spending quality time. Okay, so you spend time together. That means something to both of you. So that's quality. Yeah, time. yeah. Okay. And so then we have one other one. And so um, is Elizabeth there? Oh, I see Elizabeth. There she is. How are you, Elizabeth? You doing good today? Yes. Yes. Um, so acts of service. Do you know what that might mean? Acts of service to serve somebody. What does that mean? If they need something, help them. So Elizabeth, is your is your is your microphone on? There it is. Yes. I know. Yeah. You turn it up just a little bit. So, what does it mean to serve somebody? If they need to help, okay. Try to help. We try to help them. Okay, so very good. So that's those are acts of service. 
So those are the five ways that we show people that we care or we love them. One is to encourage them. Two is quality time. Three is touch. Four is gifts. And then five is acts of service. So I just want to say for meeting you for the very first time, all of you, your English is very good. And it's better than my French was my first few years of learning it. So uh, I, you speak better English than I did. It took me a long time to speak French as well as you were speaking English. And I've been trying to learn Korean for a year now, and I, I'm struggling. So all of you, you, you are doing an awesome, awesome job. And I just want to encourage you to continue to do this. And then maybe someday you could come to America and, uh, and we can meet and go to dinner or lunch or something with you. And, uh, and then you can astound me, uh, surprise me even more with your English, uh, because the way you're working at it, you're, you're going to do very, very well. And, uh, again, I can't, Esther girl, your smile is just awesome. Ruth there. Uh, look at this. Uh, you know, Andrew, I wish I could see your face, man, but that's okay that you have your mask on. I just think, you know, you look very white today. So, uh, you know, <laughs> you need to add some color to that mask, man. So, but you are all awesome. And I'm glad I got to spend a few minutes there with you, you tonight. There we go. Look at that. Ah, there we go. So you're not scary. You can keep that thing down. See, Andrew, you can draw some shark's teeth on your mask. <laughs> See, Andrew, I'm the one that needs the mask. So I don't want to break the camera because of my looks, you know. So, um, but you you are, yeah, yeah. there you go. Hey, very nice. Hey, I, I like, hey, did you and uh, Esther call each other and say, hey, we're going to wear yellow today? Is that, no? <laughs> <laughs> you just happen to both be wearing yellow. Oh. So, okay. So, um, so uh, uh, David uh, is going to take over now and to explain some of these things. And so um, I was just in, I, you know what, I, again, I want to say thank you. You, you are awesome. And it, it's neat to be able to talk to you while you're in Burma and I'm sitting over here. Uh, Esther, what time is it there? 10 a.m., sir. 10 a.m.? Yeah. Yes. Wow. We're ahead of us. Woo. All right, 10 a.m., yeah. So uh, we're, I, what, 9 o'clock here? Yeah, 9.30. 9, 9.30 at night here. So it's almost my bedtime, oh. Esther. Old people <laughs> like me, we fall asleep pretty soon. So Ruth, <laughs> you look like you're awake. Can you give me some of your energy? No. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna let, we're gonna let the uh, the young man over here. He's gonna take over. Okay, hey, it's nice meeting you all. Yeah. Nice meeting yeah. you. Hey guys, and Steve, you are you're doing well. Yeah. I'm really doing well. I think those I think those smiles help you to speak better English, and so or wherever it comes. Let me, uh, I think Andrew asked me to, to type these out. May, maybe I'll just repeat them again, but the, the five of them, and I want to, I won't ask you this question and maybe we can get some response from you. If, if somebody shows you their love, how, how would they do it? Like uh, for instance, if you wanted to show me your love, you could bring me flowers, but I'd say, nah, okay, that's good. I'm glad. But uh, there's other things I would like better than flowers because that's me. Uh, maybe hamburgers or something like that. But what I'm going to read these five things again. And I want you to think when you express your appreciation and love to someone, how do you do it most often? And then when someone expresses or shows their love to you what's the way that most often the, that touches your heart the most okay and number one uh, spending quality time with people is a way to express love in other words not just being there but stopping 
knowing them, letting them know you love them, letting them know you're there, maybe going and doing something with them. Maybe that's the way that someone can express their love to you or you express your love to others is to spend time with them. For other people, it's acts, A-C-T-S, of service. And uh, my, my wife, she loves to serve. And I love to be served. <laughs> so that's good. <laughs> we work together well. <laughs> anyway, but uh, that's the way she shows her love, especially one of the ways is to, to serve other people. And uh, that's, uh, and, and I understand that. other people, they love to give. They, they're gift givers. We had a, a lady in our church when we pastored back in the United States in Texas and uh, Sister Stone, we called her, and she just loved to give gifts to people, and it made her so happy. I think she was happier when she gave someone a gift than when she received a gift, because that's the way she showed her love, and then other people do it by, by touch. You'll see they'll touch you on the arm, or if they're your mom or your dad, you know, sometimes you, I don't know how people express that. Do, do people in, in Myanmar, do they hug? Do you know what I mean? By hug, take each other in the, their arms. Do they do that or not? No, they don't do it too much. Do they, I, I, do they shake hands? Do, do you shake hands? Uh, and that's, here in the States, uh, if you don't know people, you generally shake their hands. If you know them really well, it depends on the person. Some people hug and take them in their arms, but it's it's not a romantic gesture. It's just a friend gesture to say, you know, I, I really appreciate you or something like that. And some people never do that. That's just, that's their kind of personality. So if you're going to express your love to someone, or if you're going to express your Appreciate the, the other one was words of affirmation or words of encouragement to say something to someone else that encourages them. Now, for you to express your love, well, how would you express your love if you wanted not, not a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but say if you wanted to say, uh, Steve said, your grandmother or a real good friend or your parents or a brother or sister, and you wanted to let them know that you love them, what would you do? Okay, Elizabeth, on my screen, I asked her, excuse me, asked her on my screen, you're number one. So you're so lucky. I'm going to ask you first. <laughs> if you wanted to express your love to someone, how would you do it? Uh, I give someone a, a gift, a uh -huh. presents, if I expect to, I love. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very good. Thank so you so that, that's your love language. That's the way when the, you, you want to show. And if someone wants to express their love to you, they can give you a gift too. Well, that's nice too, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I like gifts. <laughs> okay, Ruth, how do you how do you express your love and appreciation to those around you? Always help them and like Esther said, you can also give them some presents and uh -huh. you can all. <laughs> yeah. No, that's yeah. very good. Very good. And when you said always help them, that's acts of service. And that's a way of expressing love. Very good. Lydia, how do you express your love to people that you want to express it to? Um, uh, I will encourage them if they are feeling sad. Yeah. And I will make them happy. Very good. We're